Welcome back everybody. Today I want to talk about tools and the tools that I use, tools of the trade that help me with my massage practice and with my hands. So I'm going to talk to you about the ones that I've used throughout the years and some I've incorporated into my massage and some I kind of use by themselves. So let me start with the cups. I'm going to take you from the one I use the least to my favorite one. So let's start with the cups and I know you're going to say how can your cups not be your favorite but it just takes a whole session to do cupping. I feel that in order to give the client the treatment that they need, it's very important for you to spend at least half an hour doing the cupping where you put all the sets. And that just takes too long for me for what I do. I like tools that I can incorporate to my massage. So I have the glass ones also. However, glass ones are not covered in our, by our insurance. So we have to use the plastic ones. What I do is I like to use them on the back and I pump it three times and I don't even have to take it off, unplug it. I can just move it around. And it really works on the superficial fascia. It, go, it warms it up. It creates vasodilation. And see, I can incorporate this into my massage and just make it like a few minutes routine instead of putting the cups all over. Because like I mentioned, that's a whole other session. In order to unplug it, you just raise it and put a finger underneath, and there it is. And as you can tell, there's vasodilation right there. It's nice and bright and red, creating blood flow to the area. The next one that I like to use are my bamboo sticks. And these are warmed up. I have a heating pad, and they work really good for big areas. This is kind of like when you're making tortillas or when you're you know, <laughs> I just made myself laugh, okay? This is like, you can use it if you know how to make tortillas or if you know how to, uh, a pie crust, roll out a pie crust. You can go for bigger people. You can go in between the vertebrae here and uh, the erector spinase and it's nice and warm. So the clients really like this. Also for the glutes, you know, you can really get the glute work right here go from uh, lateral to medial. Remember, you never want to spread out the cheeks. So you want to go ahead and do uh, lateral to medial. And the smaller one, I like to use for smaller areas. So I can put it on my hand and it gives a little bit slight uh, pressure and it feels really good on the clients. You know, you can use, use it also on the scapula. So like I said, this is a tool that I can incorporate to my massage. You can go around the scapula and it's nice and warm and it saves my hands. So this is one of the tools that I do like to use. Now there's a whole routine that you can do with the bamboo sticks and it's a whole massage that it takes about an hour. So like I said, I just incorporate it here and there. And, and this is really also good even for the neck here. You know, you can go up the neck, it uh, feels really good. And the heat from the bamboo makes it good for the client too. The other thing that I like to incorporate is moist heat. Remember we can do hydrotherapy and this does wonders, it does the work for me. So let's say I am working on her low back so I can put this on her upper back and leave it there for 15 minutes while I'm working another area. And by the time I come back to the rhomboids, they're nice and warm and supple and I can go ahead and start working on them. So during the winter time, I love using the moist heat. And during the summertime, I like to use the cold and I won't dare put it on her because <laughs> she'll jump. But I use this like on the back, on the low back, on the legs. This really gives you a lot of, it numbs the area. Remember heat and cold have the same secondary effects. So if you use, if you use cold, if you use ice, it makes your skin really white because it pushes the blood flow away from the surface. But once you remove the ice, the, the blood flow comes back and it makes it really red. And the same thing happens with the heat. The heat, draws out the heat and the redness right away, the blood flow. But once you remove the heat, it, the blood flow goes away and it turns white again. So it's, it's the same secondary effects 
on both of them, they have the same effects, it reverses. So you, using ice or heat is really good to incorporate into your practice and it makes your work a lot easier because it works while you're working in another area, you can come back to it and the muscle is nice and relaxed and it lets you go in a little bit deeper and do your work. Washa is a technique, it's an oriental Chinese uh, technique and you can use tools with it. Washa is the technique, not the tools. I actually have several tools here. I had an instructor that taught me washa, and he was a Chinese doctor about 20 years ago, and he told me, just use spoons. It's a lot cheaper to use the spoons than the, this is a water buffalo bone. You can use a credit card. Even a credit card will work. The thinner it is, the more you're gonna draw out the blood and it's gonna create vasodilation a lot faster. The thicker the edge is, it's a little bit slower. You don't have to use it for a lot of times. You can use it for like 20 seconds. Just use it for 20 seconds and it does the same thing as the cups. So let me show you how that works. So you wanna make sure and use a little bit of lubrication here so that the skin doesn't get irritated. And I'm gonna start with a thicker one. So what you do is you scrape, and you only need to scrape for like 20 to 30 seconds, not too much. And this is why this one is a very good one to incorporate into your massage. It feels really good. And what this does, and it shows you right away where there is ischemia, like right there, I can feel it. It's really tight, and also the fascia where it's really tight. And what I'm doing here is creating vasodilation and it pops up where she has the most uh, congestion. So this is a really nice tool to incorporate, only 20 to 30 seconds. So it's easy to incorporate into your massage. The spoon I really like, like for the neck, you can really just scoop, scoop out. It really is good. As long as you're not on the cervicals, you can really get the upper trap. I wanna see if you can get a little better view of what I'm doing. All I'm doing is scraping up right along the neck. I'm really getting the levator and the upper trap, and I'm not on the spinous processes or even the transverse processes. All I'm doing is scraping. I can scrape by the uh, rhomboids, even, you know, even the infraspinatus and supraspinatus. So this is really, really easy technique and it's comfortable on my hand. I can really grasp it good with a handle. This cost a dollar at the Oriental store. So this is actually one of the best tools that I like to use. And Wa Sha is the name of the technique. One of my favorite things to use is the bevel bar. And this little edge right here lets me go right close to the lamina groove, right by the transverse processes. And I can really go up and down, all from C7 all the way down to the lumbar area. I can use also the scooping out motion, like you're scooping out between the uh, vertebral column and all the way down the lamina groove. It's also good to use in between the vertebrae, people that have breathing problems, in the, between the intercostals, this is also good for that. You never wanna use anything like this on the cervicals. So it's really from uh, T1 all the way to the lumbar area. And also to get to the QL, it's another good one because you, it's at an angle and you can get to the belly of the QL right here with this, with this bevel tool. My second most favorite is the, uh, the flat one. I use this one almost in every massage that I do because it really, it's flat. It lets me get to in between all the muscles here, the rhomboids, all the lats, all the, the infraspinatus, supraspinatus, even a little bit right here up by the uh, levator and the upper trap. And on the glutes, this is really good to use on the glutes, the origin of the QL and the lats, even on the forearm. Now for my favorite, I know you guys are gonna be surprised what my favorite tool is, and you're gonna think it's not a tool, but for me it is. And it's my CBD 
massage cream from Lacuna Botanicals. It really is my secret weapon because at the same time that I'm helping my clients, you know, relax and it uh, relieves their pain, it also relieves the pain from my hands. I rub it in and then I rub it on my client. So it really helps me to be able to get through the whole massage without my hands hurting so much. My thumbs really hurt now after so many years of use and abuse. And I do want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that have hurt my hands because I used, used to use my thumbs for everything. So that's the reason I incorporate some tools now and I incorporate even my elbow. You know, your elbow can be also a tool that you use and it helps to really relieve a lot of the pain from my hands. So that is my number one tool. So there's a lot of tools out there. I, I don't really use a lot of the, these, but they are out there, you know. This, this, this is another good one that you can use, you know. This one's not too bad, actually. I just never got used to using this one too much, but this one's also really good, like even for the, for the neck, you know. Uh, some uh, are made out of stone. Uh, this was very uncomfortable for me because it's too big. I just could never get used to this one. This is ice. So for somebody that has, you know, like this area here that's really red, you know, or very specific work where you need to really work in a small area with the ice. So this is frozen and it can numb the area so it can let you go back in and work a little bit later, you know, work it in a little bit more. So this can numb the area and bring down the in inflammation. Remember, ice brings down inflammation. This is another one that used to be my favorite. However, this one, for me really hurt my my thumb because I have really short thumbs so it sat right on the carpal metacarpal joint and eventually with all the pushing it really started you know damaging and hurting my thumb more than saving it so the reason I'm showing you all this is because it might really work for you it might be a good fit for you so find out out of all the tools that we have here you know uh, all the array of tools here which one is the best for you to use the one for you to feel comfortable and incorporate it into your massage. And the reason that we use tools is to enhance our massage and to help us out a little bit. I still am a firm believer that our hands, you know, obviously we have nerve endings and we can feel. However, I think with practice, we really get to feel the body and even through a tool, we can feel where, you know, where the client uh, needs a little bit of extra work. So remember to do your nerve ending strokes to reach closure with your client. And I hope this video really helps you to figure out what tools you would like to incorporate and enhance your practice and save your hands at the same time. Stay tuned for our next video. Subscribe to my channel and give us a like. Follow me on Instagram for AMP reviews and check out my website for any classes and products. All the links are below. Till the next time, create a good day.